All right, let's move now from the proposed World Sex Olympics uh, to something else. These days, I would suggest you, if you want to move a product, it's more difficult. It's about creating a real and meaningful conversation with the consumer. A bit like trout fishing, I would imagine, as opposed to that uh, wide net trawler approach that uh, marketers sometimes have. Content marketing has become very, very critical. And uh, an expert in this uh, field is uh, Zibuzi Sumkwanazi, who is with the agency Avatar. Very warm welcome, and thanks for talking to us. Now, we can talk about the Sex Olympics if you want to, <laughs> but let's rather talk about content marketing. Right. Let's stick to something Give that we know. <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> Give us the definition. What are we talking about? Content marketing. It really has become a big buzzword. I mean, Jeremy, content marketing really, you know, is the art of delivering compelling, relevant information to people who really need it. You know, in summary, that's what it is. And the whole objective of it is when you deliver relevant information to people, you know, they're likely to respond better to the information because they actually need the information. So content marketing is just understanding you know, the types of content that people need and brands benefiting from those engagements. And inevitably the content is about conversation. That's we right. Can, we can get to that in just a moment. But um, has it completely replaced that uh, broader shotgun approach? Are you killing above the line marketing? We are growing into above the line marketing. It's still a fairly new concept because you have to ask yourself certain questions, you know, above the line and digital marketing, you know, because content marketing, yes, is part of digital, you know, but you've got to question how it's being done because if you think about it, what is branding? Branding is simply creating perception, you know, this, the perception is created in different ways, you know, it can be created visually, but with content marketing, you create new perceptions, you know, with the content that you push at the right people. These perceptions now become the branding. So you have to ask yourself what impact will it have on above the line marketing what impact will it have on digital marketing now let's look at the statistics 0.25 average click-through rate of banners you know you've got to ask yourself do people really want to click on banners Facebook ads 0.005 average click-through rates while people you know, are engaging on social media. Do they actually want to see ads? No matter how creative they are, or matter how, no matter how creative those banners are, do they really, really want to see them? Right. Point is taken. You, yeah. you, 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 you've, you've made the sale. Yeah. I buy the concept. Yeah. How then do I seed or create a meaningful conversation? It's about understanding who you're talking to first and foremost. Each person has got different content needs. You know, the builder to the CEO consume different types of content. You know, as a digital agency CEO, there's types of content that I need to be a functional CEO. I need to know the latest in the industry. You know, I need to know what's happening with technology. I need to understand, you know, on the broader perspective, what is happening in the world so that I, I, I create relevant strategies, etc. So if there's brands or a brand that pushes this out me in a compelling and relevant way, I'm more likely to interact with those brands. And when I'm ready to make the sale, you know, um, I'll do it. Providing the conversation is intelligent yes. and you've got to get that content right. Yes. That's a struggle sometimes. You know, some, some struggle creating visual creative, but I think the new battlefield is content creative. Now, the nice part about content creative is that there's some really, really smart tools that can actually help you create those conversations, you know? Now, what I mean by that is, is after we know who, who you are, we can actually use very smart people and very smart software to track the most relevant conversations around those topics. So we can track on social platforms, Twitter, Facebook, whatever the case might be, say around magazines, and we wanted to know the most relevant conversations right now around magazines. We're able to scan the internet and look at the types of content that people share the most and apply a bit of creative and apply it to our brands. So we use tried and tested content. So yes, there's an element of creativity, but once again, there's an element of it's proven and it's worked. How then does the marketer of a brand uh, dip his or her toe into this field? Where's the starting point? You know, honestly, Jeremy, it's trial and error. You get it right as you go. You know, when you start, you know, it's about publishing. You Can know, marketers afford to do that? Oh, yeah. I mean, think when you think about it, it's about understanding who they are. All right, and once you get to that point, understanding the messages. And when you get to that point, it's publishing and listening. 
because what happens is that once you publish, you know, people will give you feedback. And from that feedback, you know, then you'll know this is relevant, this is not relevant in the next loop. You know, so with time, you get better and better and better, but you don't just start off a cold base. You know, you start off an informed base, then you get better with, with time. And all that content and all that feedback is then fed back to your above the line campaigns. It's fed back to your, to, to your below the line. You know, wherever you're communicating with people, because you understand them better, even your engagements on other platforms become more relevant. Zibuzi, so one aspect we haven't touched on is the risk element to all of yes. this, because you do cede control of the brand. Yes. That's a worry, surely. Unfortunately, you know, I was reading a very scary statistic that from the dawn of evolution up until 2003, the amount of data produced in that time, we produce now every two days. So unfortunately, the brands are already in the hands of the consumers as we speak right now. And the best that a brand can do is direct those conversations in the right way and create those perceptions in the, the right way. And, and take the take punch it, if it so happens and learn from the mistake. And learn it. That's right, you know, and that's part of the listening process because when you listen, you get to communicate better. But at the end of the day, you can't control, you know, after engagement, you can't control what a person will do thereafter, but you can influence it. Mm. And a final question then, um, are you finding in this country that marketers are embracing this or does that fear factor still exist? You know, too many marketers are still obsessed with banners, with with uh, above the line because it's safe because it's safe it's what we all know but the reality is that the world is going through the content generation so how do you convince them to take the risk you know at the end of the day it's get out of your comfort zone you know and and actually study what other people are doing and the reality is that content marketing is it's not a new concept it's it's been around it's just that social media is amplifying that conversation. I mean, brands like Coca-Cola, the Coca-Cola 2020 strategy, they're saying that in order to double their business in 2020, they're relying on content marketing and less so on radio, on print, you know, etc., etc., because they realize the strategic importance. It's about get out of the comfort zone and, and understand. Call me in your office and I'll explain it to you. The gauntlet has been uh, thrown down from Avatar Zibuzizu and Konazi. Thank you very much uh, for joining us on Mags on Media. As he so rightly says, it's all about the conversation, it's all about the tone. And that conversation also continues on our Facebook page on this address. And when our program continues, our final port of call this week, our very best advertising of 2012.